This is Pastor Pete from Northwest Church, and this is Things My Father Taught Me. There was one word my dad used to use all the time, and it was the word integrity. Integrity, integrity, you must have integrity. It seemed like that was a word he used all the time, and it was like every other teaching he always referred to integrity. And when you're young, when you hear a word over and over from your parents, and you're not really sure you understand it anyway, it just becomes a blur to you. But the older I've gotten, the more I've seen how important it is to keep your word. And we know that integrity is about having a quality of honesty, and it's about having moral uprightness. Now, of course, if you've been in a relationship where, in any type of relationship where someone has stolen from you, lied to you, deceived you, in any particular way, it breaks down your ability to build anything good beyond that brokenness. Because integrity really is like a foundation for everything else in your life. You can't build something greater and stronger and better than ever before if there are cracks in your relationship, if there is a lack of integrity in your relationship. The scripture tells us that it's the truth that will set you free. You don't actually have to be perfect. Everything doesn't have to be in place. Everything doesn't have to be wonderful. But if you don't have a common truth, if you don't have that integrity and that common moral uprightness between you, then nothing good can be built beyond that. When I was a teenager, I used to have a van and it was a, a van that we used for a family business. And uh, of course, when you have a van, especially when I was young, if you have a van, you're everybody's best friend when they want to move house. And one of my friends had asked me to, to help him to move house. And so I called him up and I said, yeah. And I called him up on the, the Saturday morning and I said, hey, you, uh, what time do you want me to come around to, to help you move house? And he said, oh, come around about two. Um, I'm trying to get some boxes right now to try and help me pack my stuff. And in my mind, I'm like, you haven't packed your stuff? What? Anyway, he's like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll see you too. And he put the phone down. I got off the phone. I must have looked dejected or mad or something. And my dad caught my face and he said, um, what's, what's up? And I said, uh, oh, I meant to, meant to move my friend, help him move house. And, uh, and I'm like, but he hasn't even packed his stuff. He doesn't have any boxes. I didn't agree to pack his stuff. I agreed to help him move. And he said, did you tell him that you would only help him move and that you wouldn't do it if he hadn't packed his stuff? And I said, no. And he said, then you committed to helping him move. That's what integrity would do. You keep to your word. Be a man of your word. Of course, that's not what I wanted to hear. But in hindsight, I'm glad. Because it's better to be known some, as someone who can be trusted. Someone who can be relied on to keep their word even if they weren't clear in what they were agreeing to, even if they weren't sure in what they were being a part of. Because here's the thing, everything doesn't have to be perfect in your relationships. Everything doesn't have to be wonderful. <clears throat> everything doesn't have to be worked out. But if you don't have trust, if you don't have integrity between you, then you've got nothing good to build from there on. I'm asking you today, do you live with integrity? Can people trust your words? We love you.